What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the problem of running out of storage on your iPhone. You know, that message that says, almost out of storage. It's so annoying. What if you're, like this has happened to me, I've been filming a YouTube video and all of a sudden I can't export it because I don't have enough storage. So first of all, I'm, well, I'm going to be showing you this. It's the SanDisk iExpand flash drive. So this is the flash drive right here. Like I said, it's by SanDisk and it's called iExpand. And what this flash drive does is it allows you to transfer photos, videos, and contacts from your device onto the flash drive to store them. And then you can put the flash drive on your com you can plug the flash drive into your computer to transfer onto the computer and then delete off the flash drive. So once you transfer stuff on the flash drive, you can delete the all those photos and videos off your device. And whenever you want to view the photos and videos, all you have to do is plug in the flash drive to your device and then you can view all those photos and videos. So here it is, this is the flash drive. What's nice is it's really easy to transfer files to, onto the device because of this. It uses that lightning, or I accidentally stopped that. It's it's the um, lightning port for easy connectivity to your device. So if you have an old device like an iPhone 4S or an iPad 3, sorry this isn't gonna work for you. But anyway, so, and here's the USB so that you can plug it into your computer. So, what you're going to need to do is download an app. Now, this app is called iExpand Sync, which is right here. Just download it from the App Store. And then, I, um, what you want to do is, if you don't want to find it, um, you can just plug this flash drive into your device, and then it'll ask you to download it. But once it's downloaded, just simply plug in the drive to your device, and then wait a few seconds. And now you will get this message saying that I expand sync would like to communicate, so we're going to hit allow. So now the app opens. And now you can see this this is everything that is on the flash drive. And I have um like my all the stuff here organized into my albums, the same albums from uh, the same albums from my device. So like I think I have all, most of my stuff pretty much on here, so I'm just gonna take a few pictures to show, to demonstrate to you. All right, those pictures are all really stupid, but I'm just gonna explain to you how it works. All right, so to add photos and videos onto the flash drive, you're gonna hit this plus button, and now it shows all of your photos and videos that you've taken. And if you wanted to, if, if you organize your stuff into albums, you could go into the albums there. So I'm, let's say these are the photos and videos I want to add onto the flash drive. So you tap on them and to select them, and then you're going to hit select destination. So then you can put them anywhere that is on, these are, this is the flash drive, you can put them anywhere. So I'm going to put them in my camera roll. This makes it easy for me to know what's in my camera roll. So you're, I'm just going to put them in the camera roll and then it shows what you've backed up here. So then I'm going to hit copy here. And now it's going to transfer all those files onto the flash drive. And let's say like you can do the like you can do the same thing if you want to find a specific, specific photo from an album, you can hit albums. And now you can find anything in an album. So I'm just gonna go to, I'm gonna find a video and explain to you. I'm gonna choose this video. This video was of my dog. We had to put ear medicine in her ear and she like freaked out and it was funny. If you wanna see that video, I'll put a link in the description. So then you could put it in your um, camera roll right here or I'm gonna put it in the videos section, which is up here. And what's great is if you accidentally put in, if you accidentally try to transfer video that is already in there, it will tell you that. So see, this, it says that this already exists, so do you want to overwrite it? So you're just going to hit skip because if it's already on there, there's no point in doing that again, so you don't have to worry about it accidentally duplicating stuff. So then you can hit select and now if I select you have a few options here. If you hit these buttons up here, 
this is like your main menu, so this um, bar down here shows the battery life of your, like, I thought it was of the flash drive because, like, you actually need to charge the flash drive, just plug it in with, like, a wall adapter. Um, hold on. And then it shows the amount of space you have remaining on your device, so obviously I don't have that much. And then the space on the flash drive that's left remaining. And, like, if you want to, um, like, this is a picture of my dog. Like, let's say I want to save it to the camera roll on my device. You want to hit this button. And now, you can save it to my downloads, and that will go to the down... I'm going to show you that. I'm actually going to show you downloads instead. So then, because you know what happens if you save it to your camera roll. So then, if you go to my downloads, it shows everything that you've downloaded and that is here. So you don't need to have the flash drive. You don't need to have the flash drive plugged in to view your downloads. So see if I go here, it'll tell you to plug in the flash drive. But if you go to my downloads, you can see what's here. Oh, whoops. Alright, so, yeah, that is pretty much it. You can, like I said, you can um, categorize your stuff however you want. One thing I would like to point out is that slow motion does not work. I only transferred two, and it doesn't recognize the file. It says it's zero kilobytes, it just doesn't play it. If you wanted to, you could transfer everything at once, but I don't recommend that because if you have slow motion, it's just going to get stuck there and not do it, and it's going to take forever. So I definitely don't recommend that. I tried to do it and it failed. So yeah, so after you are, make sure you're completely certain that all of your photos and videos are onto the flash drive, and once you're certain of that, you can go into the Photos app. And then you can hit select and then select all the items you want to delete and then you can delete them from your device now before like this happened to me I was out of storage before and I was trying to delete I could not figure out why I kept deleting stuff and I wasn't clearing up storage actually whenever you delete something it goes into this recently deleted folder that's like if you accidentally delete a photo, that way you can just recover it from there, and then once you delete everything and recently delete it, then it clears up space on your device. And before I go, I just want to um, point out a quick trick. You can see I have 1.9 gigs left. If I go into the iTunes store, I actually demonstrated this trick in a different video. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link. I'm going to go to Lord of the Rings. You can go to any movie, just make sure that the movie has more space than you have on your device. Because, like, just make sure it has... Alright, just, yeah, so this has, this is like 6.83 gigabytes. I don't have that much. Hit rent. Don't worry, it's not going to charge you because you don't have enough storage. Cannot download because we don't have enough storage. Go into our settings. 2.3 gigs. Then you just want to keep doing that. I swear, guys, I'm not playing a magic trick. This is actually legit. You saw I had 1.9 gigs. If you want to explain, if you want an explanation as to why this happens, I made a video about it, and I will put a link in the description. We still have 2.3, so once it stops working, you can just stop. So anyway guys, that is the iExpand flash drive by SanDisk. It's a great way to transfer the photos and videos on, from your device onto the flash drive so you can delete them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Peace.